hi everyone so in this video i'm going to show you how to disassemble any laptop you have so i'm going to show you some basic steps that you can follow to disassemble any laptop whatever its type or model so we're gonna use a deal laptop as you can see basically this is deal Inspire 14z-5423 but of course you can disassemble any other laptop just by following me in this video so let's get started so let's see an overview about this laptop so if we open the laptop as you can see here we have the keyboard as you can see and the touchpad okay here of course we don't have any screws in this side here this is the model of the cpu this is core i7 cpu okay and of course the operating system in this laptop is windows 7 okay so this is just an overview about this laptop so let's see the other side of the laptop as you can see here here we have the screws basically this is the screws the screws are covered by this rubber as you can see here we have ram under this cover exist the ram chips so basically this is the ODD or the optical disk drive as you can see this is the optical disk drive and of course some connectors here in this side we have the HDMI connector and USB connector and of course the power jack connector so here we have screws so now we will begin removing the rubber first that cover the screws and then we will unscrew the screws as you can see we remove right now the rubber as you can see we will first remove all rubbers we will as you can see this is the rubber basically you should you can find many dimensions and many types or shape of this rubber you should always pay attention now as you can see we have the screw as you can see now the screws are clear you can now remove it easily so let's begin with the first screw as you can see You can remove these screws or just using tape, okay, a tape to cover the screw and let it in their places. So for example using this tape as you can see I can just cover the screw, that's it, without removing it, okay. So, you can use any tape you have. So, this is just an astuce to keep the screws in their places. Now, we're gonna remove this small door or cover, as you can see, basically under this cover, we're gonna find the RAM or the random access memory chips. Okay? So, let's remove. So basically the same working principle for any laptop, you will find the RAMs in the back side of the laptop and sometimes in some laptops you can find other slots, RAM slots and the keyboard. As you can see here we have two RAMs or random access memory over here. We cannot if you want you can remove these RAMs or let it in their places basically here you should check whether you have any screw 
or not okay and rediscover if you have any screw you should remove it because basically here for example this screw as you can see here this is its place basically it fix the ODD or the optic optical disk drive now we can remove the optical disk drive easily because the screw that fix it is removed as you can see disconnected to this cover as you can see so now we can just push the ODD and remove it easily as you can see Okay, now the optical disk drive is removed. So let's continue removing any screw we have here. So now we remove almost all screws. So now we can remove the keyboard. Okay, now the keyboard is loosened. Okay, we can now remove it easily because we remove all screws in the back side of the laptop. So here, as you can see, we have a small part, small hole in the edges of the keyboard that we should push and then pull the keyboard okay, just push it and pull the keyboard okay so this is the method that you can use to remove or to disassemble the keyboard as you can see in almost 90% of laptops, we have the same working principle, the same design, okay? That's why I told you before that if you understand just how to disassemble one laptop, just if you understand the basics, you can disassemble any other laptop, okay? So now, as you can see, we can remove the keyboard easily as you can see now the keyboard is removed here we have the keyboard connector that we should remove from the motherboard as you can see just pull this part here just pull it up as you can see and the connector now is removed easily okay now we should check whether we have other screws or not as you can see we have here other screws that secure this part okay this metal metallic part to the motherboard so let's unscrew the screws and then we can remove this metallic part but first we should remove all connectors okay as you can see we have here do touchpad connector, do camera connector, etc. Okay, let's remove this connector. Basically, this is the touchpad connector here. Okay, here we have other connectors that we should remove. Okay, so we should remove all connectors before removing the metallic parts. Okay. So this is the process and the basic steps that you should follow when disassembling any laptop we have. Just keep going with me, I will show you everything about the laptop disassembly and the motherboard parts, of course. So now here, as you can see, the screws are removed, but these two parts are still sticked. We're gonna use this. Any rubber you have, any thin 
rubber you have, do not use a metallic part. Use a rubber that is thin like this rubber and of course just insert it between the two parts and slide it. When you slide it, the parts will be engaged and disconnected as you can see. Of course, you can use this methods for the smartphone or the mobile phone also. Okay, now as you can see, the two parts are disconnected. Now we can remove the metallic part, and here we go. We get to the motherboard. Good, as you can see here, this is the connectors. As you can see for the touchpad and the fingerprint etc here right now we have the motherboard and the each details you can see this is the motherboard this is as you can see the hdd or the hard disk drive of course we gonna remove the battery first as you can see this is the battery here this is an integrated basically battery so Let's remove the battery first, then the disk drive. So of course here we have some screws to remove before removing the battery. As you can see, the battery now is removed. Okay, the battery is removed. This is a very special battery that is fitted to the laptop chassis. Now we're gonna remove the HDD or the hard disk drive. Of course, it is simple, just unscrew all screws that secure the hard disk drive to the laptop chassis and then remove the hard disk drive. Now the hard disk drive is removed as you can see. Basically, this is an STA or SATA hard disk drive as you can see. The connector is an S80A hard disk drive. This is its connector in the motherboard here. We have the battery connector. Now, of course, we gonna remove the whole motherboard from the laptop chassis. Of course, we have other screws that secure the motherboard to the laptop chassis. So every triangle, as you can see, means we have a screw that we should remove. Here we have the Wi-Fi or the wireless card. As you can see, basically these two wires are for Wi-Fi. So here, this is basically the screen connector. Okay, the screen connector. We should remove it from the motherboard. Now let's unscrew these screws and then keep going. So let's try to remove the motherboard. Basically we remove all screws. Now the motherboard is Remove it here. We have the power connector. Okay, we should remove the power connector in the back side of the motherboard. Here we go. Now the motherboard is removed. Here, this is the CMOS battery and the power connector. Okay, the motherboard is removed. Here, basically, this is a daughter board that contain some connectors like the USB connector and the card reader. Now this is the 
the laptop chassis will remove all parts including the motherboard okay basically for the motherboard of course it contains some main parts like this fan this is basically the fan and the heatsink and the fan we have the cpu or the central processing unit here we have the gmc hedge or the north bridge of course here this is the graphic card the ICH and here we have the RAMs okay this is two RAM and of course other components like capacitors as you can see electrolytic capacitors like ICs as you can see inductors MOSFETs etc okay here we have connectors basically here we have connectors Okay, many connectors like USB connector, HDMI connector, RG45 connector, and so on. This is the power jack connector. Okay, uh, basically, if you want, you can clean some parts, especially like the RAM, before install it again. You can clean it using a brush, and of course, cleaning also the RAM slots because sometimes you can find some dust in the RAM slot that prevent the good working of the RAM so you can just clean the RAM slots and the RAMs so now let's install the two RAMs now let's remove the heatsink and the fan in order to see the thermal compound basically the thermal component is the component that call down the processor okay so the thermal compound is a very important component that we can use between the processor and the heatsink and of course the graphic card or the not bridge and the heatsink in order to call down those chips so let's remove the heatsink and the fan and we're gonna find the thermal compound basically the thermal compound has a white color but of course we can find other colors like a black color or a brown color etc okay of course here we have the fan connector that contain three cables basically the red cable is for 5 volt, the black cable connected to the ground and the yellow cable is to control signals. So here as you can see this is the heatsink and of course we have the compound, the thermal compound. Basically this is a good thermal compound. There is no dry in this thermal compound as you can see. Basically this is a white thermal compound. So if you find that this thermal compound is become dry, you can just clean it and use another thermal compound, a new thermal compound, okay? Because without this thermal compound, the processor can be very hot, especially the processor and the graphic cards or the North Bridge or GMC Hedge. So let's install the heatsink and the fan. Okay. and of course the fan connector the ramps are installed without any problem over here as you can see this is the wireless card as you can see basically in some cards can contain the wireless control and the bluetooth control so to remove this card you can just unscrew this screw and remove it easily exactly exactly like the RAM chip and then of course you can clean it using the same working principle and clean also the wireless card slot just to remove the dust okay 